Yo, what is up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today, Call of Duty have finally released the Iskra Operator Bundle. Now, I did release a video before showcasing how to get this super early, do a little backdoor by going to the vehicle menus, but that was patched very quickly, like they patched that within at least two hours of it being known by the community, so not many people could actually get this, but here it is, it's finally here, and yeah, we're going to take a quick look at it. So of course, this whole bundle does contain weapons that apply for dismemberment effect. Now I don't really know what the dismemberment effect does but it should be pretty cool when we use it. But of course starting off the bundle we actually have an Iskra skin. Obviously it's in the Iskra bundle for a reason. It's called Sabator. So this skin actually looks pretty cool. But yeah I do like this skin. It looks really cool. I do like how she's holding one of her gun variants in her hand there but this skin looks very cool, very unique and yeah it's actually pretty cool to use. Then we have the Insurgency Assault Rifle variant. Now I do like the look of this gun. Like I like how clean all the colors look like it's got the orange and that's not shiny but of course as you guys can see the little i think that's silver that's shiny so that's actually cool i mean obviously the attachments aren't so great you know you guys know i hate stuff with optics but this does apply the dismemberment effect as i did say before but yeah i mean this does look like a pretty useful gun and hopefully it works well next we have the heresy handgun variant again with the same color scheme as the assault rifle variant i don't understand why it has an optic and a laser on it like <laughs> why you Usually lasers are for like when you're hip firing like with akimbo and stuff but I guess not. I do like how it does have the lightweight trigger and 10 round mags. I just don't understand why it has a laser and an optic, like why? And of course it applies the dismemberment effect, just like all the other weapons in this bundle. Then we have the Savagery Vehicle Skin. Now this is where you could actually get this early if you guys watched my previous video. You could actually get it from the helicopter skin vehicle customization section. But I mean this doesn't look too bad, it just looks like the tiger skin from the weapon cameras and just pasted onto a helicopter. Then we have the Flood plain watch the sacrifice melee variant i don't know if this applies to dismemberment effect it doesn't say in the little description thing but this looks cool i mean it's just a plain knife but i like how it kind of curves there then you have the carver iskra finishing move oh my goodness dude she's whipped out two knives on that guy and just diced them up like fruit ninja <laughs> then we have a quick death iskra quip the last chance saloon calling card and of course finally the inner fire emblem so guys this is the iskra bundle you can pick it up for 2400 cod points it comes with all this stuff as i just showed you guys it looks pretty cool i like how the calling card and emblem are animated and everything i do like how all the weapons come with a dismemberment effect so the assault rifle variant and the handgun variant they come with dismemberment not sure about the knife i don't think so unfortunately but, but yeah guys we're gonna hop right into it we're gonna check this bundle out in game so yeah as you guys can see here i do have the two guns equipped in my loadout <laughs> unfortunately i don't have all the attachments equipped for the fr 556 yeah it's only level 8 and i only have the commander of full group for it but i mean hopefully this should do well i mean i don't really use this gun so i can't really i don't really know if this is good or bad it is an assault rifle so hopefully it does well and then we have the 0.5 gs which i have most of the attachments for i don't have the correct optic for it but i mean it was a reflex optic so i just equipped another one on it but yeah i had to equip the laser which i don't know why it has a laser on it good thing is that i do have lightweight trigger and 10 round mags so it does make up for it and then of course granulated grip tape because why not i needed a regroup and then i'm sure you guys really don't care about perks lethal and tactical it's just the same as usual but yeah guys before i get into this iskra bundle gameplay if you guys could please give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this they did also release twin suns which i should be dropping a review on tomorrow so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but anyways guys without further ado let's use the iskra operator bundle so call of duty along with dropping the iskra operator bundle in twin suns they also did add some new game modes in the playlist update so they added realism mosh pit which is basically just hardcore so maybe i'll give that a try they they removed boots on the ground wall, added normal ground wall, so unfortunately this tanks again, that's always fun. They kept 3v3 knives only demolition, but they did replace 10v10 shipment which everyone loved. That was a joke by the way. And they replaced it with dirty old houseboat, what a name for a game mode. It contains rust shipment and shoot house and mosh pit, so basically just rotates through them. Hopefully it's not like the one where they had shoot house and shipment, which is shoot house, shoot house, shoot house, shipment, and then shoot house, shoot house, shoot house, shipment. Hopefully they just give each map an equal chance, but yeah we're gonna hop right into dirty old house bro i really hate saying that <laughs> i did drop an apex legends video yesterday kind of going over the whole season 5 update that they released in the new legends lobo if you guys did enjoy that let me know down in the comment section if you want more of that i mean it was like that was actually very fun to make i did i just wish they had solos in that game i'm so glad warzone has solos oh boy i got rust that's a great way to start my first game of the day 
Why am I joining it halfway through, dude? This is Russ. I'm pretty sure this is a burst gun. Oh my goodness, dude. Alright, so this gun is a burst. I didn't even know it was a burst. I'm pretty sure this is a burst gun. I'm gonna hop up in my little spot that I like. Let's check out this pistol, because... Oh no. Ow. Dude, this is so quiet. Why is it so quiet on Rust? This burst is actually doing pretty well for some reason. I kind of guessed this gun was going to be a burst, but I sort of didn't expect it to be a burst. I'm pretty sure this is a burst gun. I mean, I like this gun so far. I like how it's a burst, so if you land one shot or one hit, you're basically going to land the rest of your hits, so... Let's actually use this pistol. Never mind, he came at me with a shotgun. I mean, that was a quick game. Haha, <laughs> we got 69. I'm mature, guys, trust me. I mean, to be honest, that actually didn't feel too bad. I mean, obviously, I wasn't expecting it to be a burst, but... I'm pretty sure this is a burst gun. Maybe by the end of this video, I, I would have leveled up this gun enough to actually put some more attachment on this to replicate the Iskra weapon variant more. One day. One day I'll get there. Alright, I got Shoot House. I think I could do better in Shoot House. Shoot House is more open than Rust. The thing I do like about this burst is that it seems like once you hit one shot, the other two or three, I don't know how much it shoots. I do like how when you hit one shot, it seems like all your other shots hit, so that's cool. This guy's just teabagging. I know apparently they're supposed to be releasing a like a retro ghost bundle. Like the skin, I've seen like I've seen pictures of it and the skin looks pretty cool for it. I feel so sluggish with this, I don't know why. Yeah, your solo cap B is the best I'm gonna be doing in this game. Why was he holding that angle, dude? Look at that. Is he shot randomly? No, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh, damn VTOLs. It feels like there's like no one in this lobby because I'm not running into anyone. It's a 5v5 and I can't find anyone. Why is it so hard to hit people with this gun? I mean, when you do, granted, it does do very well. Like, you get kills almost instantly, but it feels like it's so hard to hit people. I don't understand why. I think this gun's good once you hit, like, chest or above. But other than that, yeah, it ain't the best, man. This gun makes me feel so sluggish, and I don't understand how. <laughs> I do just chill at the back thinking it was safe. Ow. I actually got a kill streak. Are you sure their whole team has ghosts? There's not one dot popping up on this map. I'd see them. They. Oh, dude, I was not ready for that. I was too busy to look at the mini map. It's so weird going from 10v10 to 5v5. It feels like there's no one to kill. Wow. <laughs> That dude must have got so sad, he hit me once and then thought he killed me and he's like, oh crap. That felt so weird, dude. Like, I actually felt kind of rusty. I don't know why. Like, I felt super sluggish. Like, my dude wasn't running fast enough. Maybe because I'm just not used to a burst. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to tapping the trigger, but that felt so weird. I mean, it seems like we're getting a variety of different maps compared to last time. We were just shooting house like five times in a row and shipment once and then shoot house another, like, five times in a row. Maybe because there's three maps that they're rotating, I don't know. Enron shipment and it's not 10v10. It's so weird playing shipment without there being 10 people to kill. This is actually like the only map I can streak on with this gun. I mean hey, it's not as hectic as 10v10, I'll say that. I got a kill with the pistol man, I'm happy about that. Well, Shipman still has terrible spawns as always. Even without it being 10v10, you still spawn in stupidly dumb locations. This gun is so weird because you get like only three shots off and then other than that, it's like... If you miss your shots, you're stuffed. Like, you can't keep holding it down and spraying. Because after you shoot it, there's a little pause. So, you basically, you gotta land your shots if you want to do well with this gun. The thing I like about this shipment is that it's not as hectic. It kind of sucks in a sense because you can't get kills like you used to. Uh, one thing I'll never miss from the 10v10 shipment is all the kill streaks that came in and just destroyed you. Bro, what is going on with this gun? What the heck? I got a Wilson! Alright, let me just camp in here. Let me deploy this bad boy. 
No, no space to call it in. Wilson, go. Oh, god damn it. Wilson, go. Wilson, go. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Wilson, buddy, don't die on me now. And you're dead. Aw, oh, what? I mean, my Wilson did a little bit of work. I'm not gonna lie now. Dude, I have nothing to say half the time. It's so hard to talk when so much shipment BS happens. I mean, that was a game. <laughs> I got a Wilson, dude. I was not expecting to get Wilson. Oh, I'll go play the game. Let's go. I had 65 kills. Dude, that's crazy. But anyways, guys, that was the Isra Operator Bundle. Again, you guys can get this for 2,500 COD points. It does come with all this stuff. And I mean, wow. These two guns are just crazy. Like, the Heresy, obviously, it's a Deagle, so you shoot it. It's going to have a lot of recoil. But, man, that gun hits a lot. Like, that... That gun is actually pretty good. And of course the insurgency wasn't expected to be a burst, but I don't know, I mean, it's not too bad. If you land one shot, you can land the rest of them, but I don't think it's good for the up close encounters maps, maybe just stick with SMGs and shotguns. But I mean, whew, these two guns are pretty good. And of course you get everything else, obviously the Iskra skin and then all the other stuff that comes with it. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. We've been growing like crazy lately. I appreciate you guys so much for that and I appreciate all your support. Anyways guys, again, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.